not in our name, no genocide allowed in Gaza. Good discussions. No genocide allowed in Gaza. So hungry, but I had a bowl of porridge this morning. With dates and molasses and honey. Probably later than I think. No genocide in gas allowed. I like saying that. It makes it sound as if it matters as if I could actually stop it from happening like a traffic cop or something No genocide allowed in Gaza. Okay, let's see what time it is. Not in our name, no genocide allowed in Gaza. Hi. Oh. Oh, I just. Oh, can you put that up for me? I just dropped my earbud. Yeah, I better put it in my pocket. I'm not listening to anything anyway. 
I found my cards. Let me give you a copy of my card. Do you have a... Can you take a photo of the banner? The banner, yeah. Yeah, please do and share it. And I, don't, I don't use any social media if that's good for me, but I could send it to you if you want. Okay. Oh, let's see what he's singing here. Hamadinet Velo Yisrael! Israel is not the state! They don't want to listen. Nice. You to send it to yeah. You, you got my address on my card. What? Yeah, it's there. And send it later when you in the warmth. No genocide allowed in Gaza. No genocide allowed. There you go. Good. Are you Jewish yourself? Ah. I came by the museum today because uh, I was something for, for a class. Ah, very good. I'm second generation Holocaust survivor myself. My mother escaped from the Warsaw Ghetto. And, uh, my father was from a southern city he lived in. He was orthodox, but pacifist. He would uh, go to uh, Palestine. He didn't want to go to another war when he was in a refugee camp after the war where my parents met. I was conceived in a refugee camp. My mother was born this, so she taught me that Zionism was a corrupt political ideology. And so I'm rebuilding the movement because there's, most of the members were killed, of course, by either the Nazis or by Stalin. But it's still valid, you know, the concepts are still still valid. I'm, I'm sure, like, I'm sure. Like, I, I, will, I can see why you as a Holocaust survivor would see, would see all the situations, what's happening presently and what happened in the past as genocide. Yeah, cases. yeah. And, and if they're allowed to, then they will continue. <laughs> like the, the Nazis were allowed to continue with the genocide. You know, there was no opposition. You know, the Zionists, you know, they didn't do anything. The thing is, there's so there's so much like there's so much money that goes in between the U.S. selling weapons to Israel mm. and the, and the, the purchasing and whatnot. Uh, like the, that's the whole reason for their being. For One reason, but I think that there's an ideological reason. It's part of Protestantism, you know, Christian Protestantism, that thinks that the Jewish people should go back to the Holy Land. And then Jesus Christ will suddenly appear. You know, they believe this. Well, and then the Jewish people who don't go back, they're impeding the return of Jesus Christ, so they will kill us. <laughs> you know, the issue, the issue the and they're supposed to be allies. <laughs> you know, like, no way. The issue more locally with the, the residents of Israel is the concept of anti Semitism against the yeah, they think that the Muslims are genocidal and want to kill all the Jewish people. But it's the Europeans that kill the Jewish people, not the Arabs. You know, and it's a you know, simple fact that they ignore it. Realistically, for... Like, I remember seeing that the death ratio between, uh, between uh, the, the, an Israel and the Palestinian in over the last, like, uh, I don't know, like 20 years uh. was something like one to a thousand. Yeah, it yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a part of policy when General Sharon was Prime Minister his uh, formula for retaliation was for any Israeli killed including a soldier he would kill a hundred you know of, of the uh, of the enemy a hundred to one was his criteria and then the, the liberal Zionists of the left wing you know they, they oppose this uh, but they're they had the same